Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Randy Shaves, finally. Uh, a little late this week. Um, usually do this on Tuesday or Wednesday, but uh, been out of town. We, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but uh, back on the 19th of uh, this month, we celebrated our 50th wedding anniversary. So we planned on having a little trip and the cold weather sat in back then and we decided to postpone it till a few days ago. So we took a little uh, time away, went to Franklin, Tennessee, uh, right outside of Nashville. It's only about two, two and a half hours from us. We had a good time. So anyway, uh, welcome to this week's shave. And uh, today, we, uh, we're going to be using McDuff, a McDuff soap, Winter Cabin. I tell you, I love McDuff soaps. I've got the matching aftershave for the Winter Cabin also. And the scent notes, <clears throat> I'll just read you their description. Raspberry is the dominant role, supported by the combination of sandalwood, vanilla, and velvet. Saffron Absolute, cardamom, and smoky guayac wood gives the sweeter top notes much nuance, while the addition of elemi and fur essential oils lend a balsam touch. I really always have a good experience with uh, McDuff soaps. They, they are a crope. They're very, it's a very soft soap. But man, it just does a fantastic job and, and, and I'll put the slickness up against anyone's. Uh, I really do enjoy using it. And I'm, I'm going to be using the um, um, Yates 921 today. I've been using some other razors lately, so I'm going to use the Yates 921. It's got a uh, Permasharp blade on its third use in it. And we're going to see how that works out. So let's put just a little water on the face and let's start laying. Oh, my brush. Gosh, i got to show you my brush. Pete Hendricks with HCNC, Hendricks Classics and Company. As, um, I don't know whether they're on his site yet or not, but he's got some new handles. And um, as soon as I saw him, I said, I gotta have one of those. So I got a hold of him. And here's a beautiful handle by Hendricks Classics and Company. He's got, uh, I think, four different ones. And I can't remember all the colors, but, and I had a knot here already, uh, a badger knot. Yeah, this is a Manchurian badger, and it's a great big old knot. It really blooms out, but um, I thought it went nice with this brush. But isn't that a pretty brush? That's a pretty handle. And uh, so get a hold of Pete there at uh, Hendrix Classics and Company and see if you can get you one of these really nice handles that he has started handling. <laughs> handling. I had been wanting a, a brown tone, some kind of brown handle, and uh, I mean, as soon as he put these on Facebook or Instagram or wherever it was, he, I can't remember now, I thought, man, I have got to have one, I got a hold of him. And then I went out of town, and uh, Got home yesterday and it was it was waiting for me. So I, was, I glued the knot in last night. You're using it today. Ooh, lather's going everywhere. Man, this is a nice scent from McDuff's. They're all all their scents are really nice. Okay, let's get started with a shave. Yeah, we had a good time down in Franklin Way. We didn't even go into Nashville. It's Nashville's getting to where you don't want to go there unless you have to. Um, so crowded, so much traffic. But we went to Franklin, and uh, we really enjoyed it. Of course, as soon as I got into Franklin, I saw 
music store, so I had to go in there, pluck around on some guitars, and since I only had five, I thought, you know, I'd like this one, so I had to buy another guitar. <laughs> I'm a sucker. But you know, two of the most relaxing things I do in my life is play the guitar and wet shave. Not at the same time. <laughs> I've still got my first guitar. My parents gave it to me when I was in high school. It's got some issues. I gotta get more. Gotta get the tuners worked on. But you know, that thing's all beat up. I have played the tar out of that thing. I don't know if, it, if I've got any subscribers that play or not, but I, uh, in Franklin, I bought an Alvarez guitar. It's got a, it's got a cedar top. It's the first cedar top guitar I've ever had, and it's got a, uh, ebony back and sides and man man that thing sounds good there's a family owned music store in Franklin called Shuffs it's been there for years really nice folks really had really was good experience dealing with them I don't know if you can see it or not but I kind of nicked myself yesterday at the hotel I used a blade one shave too many what happened to me. And I was wondering how this one was going to do because it's just its third shave, which is not a lot for a permasharp, but it's been just sitting here in the razor. And sometimes... For whatever reason, I've noticed that they that they sometimes lose something while they just they're just sitting. Okay, that was a good first pass there. Listen, if you've never tried a McDuff soap, you need to try a tub of that. I really think that you'll enjoy it. Um, it's really a it's got great slickness, great residual slickness. And they've got this cabin series, which is, this is part, this is winter cabin. And let's see, I've got a Christmas cabin. I don't remember, I've got, I think five of their soaps. I've got one, it says signature series and it's a, uh, it's rosemary and sea salt, and it's really nice, too. I just really enjoy using them. And when 
when I find something I really like, I like to pass it on to people, pass the word on. I'd put McDuff's right up there at the top of all soaps that I've used. The first one I bought was the rosemary and sea salt. Because I, I love rosemary. I love it in my, my food. And I love the smell of it. And uh, so I ordered it. And I got it not knowing that it was a croak. So I thought, well, heck. I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. But man. <laughs> I love it, and their croaks are just awesome. I've had other croaks that the reason I was a little bit disappointed at first is um, I've had some other croaks that I just couldn't get to lather real well, but that is not the case with this, with these, with McDuff's. It's really a nice show. And I think, I think they come in four ounce tubs. Yeah. It, they're, uh, they're made in Canada. And I can't remember the fellow's name, sorry, that makes them. This blade's doing fine. It, uh, for a third use blade, it's doing real good. That's another thing. Uh, Permasharp blades are hard to beat. In my opinion. You may not like them. We're all different when it comes to things like that. And of course, in a nine two one, just about anything will work for you. Boy, Franklin, Tennessee. They sure got some nice homes down through there. Of course, that's where all your country music stars live now. I remember years ago, they all used to have homes out in the Hendersonville area, out where Pete Hendricks with HC and C lives. I think he lives out in Henderson, Hendersonville. But now they all have gravitated out to the country to uh, Franklin.
well, I say all the country music stars, all of the, what I call real country music stars. Uh, some of these newer ones, I don't know if they live out in there or not. But George Jones lived out there. I've seen his house. And, and, um, Tanya Tucker and the Judds and hometown boy from here where, where I'm from. Went to the same high school I went to. He's not a country music star. He's a uh, contemporary Christian star, uh, Stephen Curtis Chapman. He lives out in Franklin. Lord, I've known that family for years. Him and his brother, him and his brother Herbie, used to sing around here all the time. And uh, then they started working at Opryland and those shows. And, What's really funny about that situation is that Stephen, or Stevie as we always called him, he, uh, his brother was the, kind of the star of the duo. And Stevie just kind of, kind of sat back and played guitar and didn't ever have much to say. He wound up being the one that, I mean, hit it huge in that genre of music. Okay. I think that's going to do us. Get ready to put the alum on. Man, that's a good shave. That soap combined with that razor. Um, just was it wonderful. No feedback, not even any feedback where I nicked myself yesterday. That's pretty good. All right. We'll let that sit on there a minute. Let me wash this brush out. I don't want you to see this thing. It's a big old knot. Right? Big old, it's a 26 millimeter. And you know what? I've had this knot laying around here. I told Pete this. When I saw that handle, I said, I have got a knot that I've been wanting a real nice handle for. And I can't really remember where I got this knot. I think it's a frank shaving knot, but I'm not sure. Do the thing. <laughs> it's huge. But it sure does a good job and it made a it made a beautiful brush with his handle. I thought I think. Okay, you rinse. We'll get some of this great smelling winter cabin aftershave. And that's another thing about McDuff's. He's got some good stuff in his aftershaves. And to be honest with you, I'm, I'm not sure what all it's got in. I'll let you see if you can read that. If I can get it to focus. You can pause that maybe and read it. And uh, gosh, the soap ingredients, that's going to be hard because the label's torn a little bit. bunch of stuff in there. But his aftershaves, 
are really soothing. Got lots of good stuff in there. So to recap, again, the McDuff's winter cabin. He's got a summer cabin, spring cabin, all kinds of cabins with the matching aftershave. Let's see, I had a, he's got a, I think it's Naughty Santa that I've got. But anyway, um, and I used the H921 with the, uh, with the Permasharp. There's the Permasharp box there. And let's see. I guess that's about it. Use my alum. I'm going to reach up here and get my uh, Aveeno that I always use. And I encourage you to go down to the description and you'll see my um, link, my affiliate link. Oops, I dropped the top. <laughs> my affiliate link for. Uh, the Razor Company, they sell McDuff's products. And uh, there's also a, um, a link down there to Frank Shaving where you can um, go in and, and use my code, Randy Shaves, and you'll get a 20% discount, um, which is very generous. And I, I, I'm pretty sure that's where this knot came from. It's a, it's a badger, a uh, Manchurian badger. I do know, I do remember that part, but I've, like I said, I've had it laying here for quite a while waiting to get me a handle and man when I saw this one from Pete the first thing popped in my mind was that knot because it's just really nice looking love it thank you Pete for uh, having these available for people they're they're really nice I can't remember all the colors he's got I know he's got a real pretty green one and um, I'm wanting to say he had four colors but I can't remember I was wanting a brown I've been wanting a brown handle there it is. Really good. So, I guess that's going to about do it for today. And um, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't. And um, as I said, use my links below. My um, affiliate link with the Razor Company. That helps my channel out. And um, you get you a tub of this McDuff's while you're at it. And use my code when you buy it. That'll help. So, um, with no further things to show you. I guess that's going to be it for this week. And I hope you have a great week and I hope you have great shaves and all that great stuff. So I'll talk to you guys later. Adios.